For the last two years, I've been using a terephilic acid-based composition, which is what the military uses in their M83s. And what I did is I modified the formula by removing the PVA binder, and instead of that, I used compression and then a mesh screen on the inside of the core, which held open the core so it held it into one solid pellet. By eliminating that binder, we were able to increase the efficiency of that device by 30%. So in other words, the homemade devices that we're making with the military's formula minus the binder, uh, works 30% better on a mass to mass basis. Now, our issue is that that formula is highly prone to flare ups due to the lower explosive limit of the terephilic acid based composition. In other words, at, a, at what concentration does the, do the dust particles ignite or explode? And, you know, some studies say 50, Milli, uh, milligrams per deciliter. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on that. Here, here's a screenshot of what I'm talking about. So anyway, that lower explosive limit means that when it's at a certain concentration, the powder coming out of the exit orifice, it will ignite. So it's highly prone to flare-ups. Oh, shit. And so what I've done this whole time is we've mitigated the, those flare-ups based on device design. So in other words, using a, what, what we call a fart valve, it started as a joke. It started as somebody suggesting we make a fart valve on a farting smoke grenade, basically. And it turned out that it, it became a dynamic baffle that was able to separate the ignition point inside the burning flame front. It was able to really separate that from the dispersed particulate. So it, it prevented it from igniting. So that that fart valve has been a part of every like serious TPA based smoke that we've made. And, you know, for the last two years, I have avoided the use of a binder as it does reduce the overall efficiency. Um, but in this one, we are going to be using cellulose acetate. And so what I did is I sprayed all of the composition with cellulose acetate 4% and then I granulated it on a four mesh screen. Uh, so in other words, like quarter inch by quarter inch mesh screen, hardware cloth. Then I took that and compacted it like I normally would. So it's essentially just got a hollow core through the center and it's a solid pellet. So we're gonna test this out. I'm not gonna chuck it, I'm just gonna drop it because I wanna recover everything. But we're gonna see if it can prevent flare ups. I don't think it will be able to, personally. I think it's gonna flare up still. It? Yeah. <laughs> Another one. <laughs>
fuck? I just wrote a big script for a video on how to make a different device. Wow. I was not expecting that to work. Oh, there is no helical igniter in here. And look, it didn't even blow out this little tape hole. It blew out at the head. Dude, I'm like, wow, I guess it worked. Holy shit. Guess I'll be changing my how-to video. Okay, love you, bye.